Hello, my name is Mohammed Qaisi. I'm a Syrian pharmacist currently studying in France. What I want to share with you today is my own personal experience about the changes that happened to the Syrian people due to this revolution inside Syria. I want to talk about three main points, the situation before the revolution starts, within the revolution and hopefully after the step down with the regime. Before the revolution starts, we as Syrian people, we didn't feel that we belong to Syria. When someone asks us about our nationality, we hesitate a lot before saying we, saying we are Syrians. Because honestly, we didn't feel that Syria is our country. All the resources, all the chances were stalling in front of our eyes and going only in one direction, which is the direction of the government. None was left for the pure people. None was left even for the normal people. All the country was dedicated for the government. When the revolution starts in Tunisia, Libya, Egypt and Yemen, in Syria, we didn't feel that, we didn't even dare to think that there will be a revolution in Syria. Because we know the brutal act of the regime. We experienced the massacre that happened in 1982 to one of the Syrian cities that demanded freedom. When, when people start protesting in Syria, I was afraid. Even everyone, my friends, everyone in my city were afraid of going to the street because we know that we might get shot. We might end even worse, we might get arrested or tortured. However, due to the brutal act of the regime, the, the, the fear barrier was broken inside of us. None was afraid of death anymore. We faced bullets, we faced mortars, we have without any guns, without anything. We only have our words and our camera to shoot and to see, to, to let everyone inside Syria watch and see what's going on inside Syria to get their sympathy and to get their support for us in Syria. The point I want to talk about is the civil organizations and communities. Those organizations that were established during the Syrian revolution under siege and they are risking their lives in order to, to get free, democratic and equal Syria. Thank you very much.